Hi, so this is my take on a parametric differentiation question, which something similar may come up in your paper too. Okay, let's have a look at a set of parametric equations. Part A tells you to find the coordinates of A and show that B. So A and B are where they cross the x-axis. So they're over here and here, and here y equals zero. So we're going to make y equal to zero. So we get t cubed minus 4t equals zero. I can take t outside, I get t squared minus 4 equals zero. So t can be zero, t can be minus 2, or t can be 2, because that's the same as t plus 2, t minus 2, or you make it equal to zero and take plus and minus the square root. Okay, so we don't, when t is zero, you can see if you put zeros into there, that's talking about this root. When t is minus, when t is two, so when t equals two, x equals two times two squared minus six times two, which gives us minus four. Um, so that's one of the coordinates. And when t equals minus two, x equals two times minus two squared, which is just two squared, minus six times minus two. All right, so we get four times two, so eight plus 12, and that's where our 20 comes in. So this is gonna be your minus four zero, which is your point A, and point B, which is 20, zero. Now, to find the equation of a tangent. For the tangent, we need to differentiate because we need to find the gradient. So, step one, we're going to differentiate the x and we're going to differentiate the y, but we're going to differentiate them separately. So, dx dt is going to give me 4t minus 6. So, bring that down. dy dt is going to give me 3t squared minus 4. So, I'm differentiating this, bringing that down, taking one away from the power and left with minus 4. Now I want dy dx, so I want the dy on the top and I want the dx on the bottom. So when you times by it flips, you're effectively dividing. So all you do is you take the one that with the y and you divide it with the one with the x. And that is your dy dx. Now we want to know what happens at b. At b we know t is minus 2. So we say when t equals minus 2 dy dx equals, and you get minus 4 sevenths, and that's going to be the gradient of the tangent. And we've got our coordinates at b, so we use y minus y1, which is um, 0, equals minus 4 sevenths x minus 20. We want it to look like this, so we've got all integers, so I'm going to multiply everything by 7. So it leaves me with 7y minus the 0 times 7 is still 0. And then we get minus 4x minus 20. If I was to open that out, I get minus 4x plus 80. Move everything to the left-hand side, and you've got the answer. We then get told the tangent to the curve cuts the curve again at a point P. Okay, so what we've got here is we have a tangent at B. So, it's hit, so we can see it's going to cut the curve somewhere again. Find using algebra the coordinate of that. So all we're going to do is we are substituting these two that we have here into our tangent because that's where the curve meets the tangent. So we're going to get 7 and then t cubed minus 4t plus 4, 2t squared minus 6t, minus 80 equals 0. So all I've done is I've taken all of this and put it in here, and all of this and substituted it in here. When I open this all out, I'm going to get 7t cubed plus 8t squared minus 52t minus 80 equals 0. At this point, you can plug it into your calculator. So use your equation, substitute it into your calculator, and you will end up with t equals minus 2 
and t equals 20 over 7. So if we were to open that, that gives you 7t, and then you bring the 20. So 7t minus 20, and we get x minus 2 squared. It goes in twice. Um, so now we know what t is. We want the x coordinate. We sub it back into x into our calculator, and we get minus 40 over 49. So this is a parametric differentiation. Remember, differentiate the y, differentiate the x, put one over the other.